All right, welcome back to Black Lodge Trivia Night, playing some Darklands again. Uh, see how far we get with this session. I hope hope you've been enjoying it. I've been having a blast, like I said, in the very first one. Darklands is a, a really sort of nostalgic, important game in, in, my, in my gaming history, and so it's been a blast to revisit this. And uh, yes, where were we? We're, we're here in Nuremberg. You remember a couple sessions ago, we were making a run from Spire up to... Uh, Nijmegen. Uh, again, I apologize for all my pronunciation. Uh, and then we decided to sort of enter the mid game. Now I don't know if we're in the mid game. You know, if we're if we're qualified for that. But but the basic idea of the mid game is you start. Part of I think the the idea of the mid game is you start building up your your gear and you start building up your rep, your repertoire of uh, saints and alchemical potions. So I think I linked to the thing I was referencing on Steam last time. If I didn't, I'll, I'll try and put it in this description. But it's, it's a very broad overview, and it seems like right now, yeah, we're sort of in that, you know, getting ourselves built up a little bit. The guide recommends Nuremberg, and I wasn't exactly sure why at the first glance, but seeing the equipment in Nuremberg, it's like a 37 quality, so that's pretty good. So I can sort of see why um, it might not be a bad spot to go for. So we made our way to Nuremberg, and we got a quest to clear a Raubritter northeast of Bamberg. So maybe it's up here along this river. I'm not 100% sure yet. I haven't been there. But I think what I was going to do in this first session is, um, after getting that quest, is, well, you know what? Let's jump to the game. And we can get started um, instead of just talking about it. So let me see. Looking for my latest timestamp. Uh, I've got a 10-5. Again, I, I don't know how it orders things. 10-5. Let's go with this one. This makes sense. I would have stopped in the inn. So here we are. We're back in the inn. We're in Nuremberg. We probably... You know, I, I don't know if I looked at uh, the alchemical potions, the saints here. But what we're going to do for now is... One thing that the guide that I, I linked to last time, I believe, recommends, and it's not unique to that guide. I've seen this multiple times. I, I might even say it in the clue book. Uh, is you can get, if you have a Raubritter near a city, uh, there might be multiple people that want that Raubritter gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to I'll just head over to Bamberg. You know, there's not a ton of other cities here. But let me head to Bamberg and just see if there's anybody else that might be talking up this Raubritter. Now, the reward that I've been offered for the Raubritter's demise in Nuremberg, I remember being pretty substantial. I, I confess I don't recall what the number is off the top of my head. It might have been like 25, 35 florin. It's pretty good. Um, okay, ambushed by bandits. We've been here before. Let's try talking our way out of it. Let me see if I can make Sigrun. She's the leader. I think she has speed common 40. So let's just see if she's able to put that skill to the test. And um, did I have Sigard do it? Sigard shouts, what's going on here? Then in a virtuoso display of commanding presence, he succeeds in completely intimidating the bandit until they feel lucky to be allowed to leave before you consign them to some imaginably horrible fate. Well, they believe me, is all Sigard says to explain is surprising performance and that's good enough right now i wonder why it chose sigard because he is not the leader and he does not have the highest speak common but maybe marching order anyway so let's see if we can get up to bamberg and let's see if we can eh, maybe check out that town too i'm guessing that oop. all right before he lies the walled city of bamberg so let's go to the gate in broad daylight let's see if we can charm our way in just as a practice uh, yeah, it looks like we did it. Um, I think it's basically the same message every time, you know, so. And there we go. We got in for free. So let, oh, you know, something you can do at night. And this might have been part of that guide as well. They recommend going to the central market. And If you don't mind paying bribes, if you have a little money to pay bribes, you can use sneak past the guards to change your stealth. Um, uh, 
And then I don't know what happens when you go. So it didn't work using the artifice skill, so that's fine. I don't think I have any eater water potions left, and that's also fine. I'm not I don't actually care about breaking in. Mostly I just wanted to get to uh Ooh, okay, basically I was trying to make my way back to the inn. It looks like I got ambushed, so that's fine. Um, so let them come over, and then I will just hopefully... Uh, curious, V is like vulnerable attack, and so sometimes that can do extra damage. I, I don't know if it's worth doing that. And then another thing I think I discovered was... And I don't remember if this again was all in this one Steam guide that I keep referencing, or if I, you know, read it somewhere else, or if I read it in the clue book. I believe the higher your bow skill, your crossbow skill, whatever that skill is that you're using for a ranged weapon, the better your line of sight becomes. If that makes any sense. So I think you're able to pull more shots shots off. Um, the better your skill is, which I mean makes sense, but I didn't realize it impacted it in terms of line of sight checks. But I believe that might be the case, which, yeah, fine. Uh, edged weapons, very good. 73, 74, 42 to 45. Get a little street cred here and get a boost in skills, not bad. Let's go to the inn. We're just going to go for the night. We're not hurt, you know, so let's just, um, because what we want to do is we want to head back to the, uh, the businesses and see if anybody's talking up needing, I mean, well, I guess I should do the other things too. I'll do that as well. But if anybody's talking up the, the route, breaker, let's try the Hanseatic League Hall. Uh, we're getting ignored by the clerk, but let's, um, Let's chat with the clerks, just see if anything happens. Spend an hour trying to converse pleasantly with the clerks, but they are clearly bored. I think I've encountered that. Uh, so we're back. Okay, so let's try any special services. Uh, the Masters of the League in Bamberg have an extremely full schedule for the immediate future, so they're not going to talk to us. Uh, so let's try... Don't need to... <laughs> Do you know who I am at this moment, so... Let's do that. Let's try the Medici office because we maybe have some street cred with them. So let's see. Let's see. Um, we don't need a... Okay, we don't have enough, probably enough money for that. Let's request an audience. Junior clerk politely but firmly states, I'm sorry, but Matez of Lentzburg is quite busy. Okay, so they're not going to talk to us either. Uh, so let's return to the marketplace. Who else might... Fugger banking offices. Let's see, maybe they have a. Okay, so let's see what he's got. Uh, hold on one second. Just need my notebook to write down, just in case it's not the same, uh, the same quest. So let's see what he says. Uh, let's see, your your reputation is well known. Begins Gebhard of Thurgau. I'm hoping you may be of some service in a matter of some import. But first, money. Five florins. Okay. It's not the same as the 35 florins of the other place, but uh, let's see what they need. Uh, let's see. I greatly value the ancient prayer books. Of the Okay, so it's going to be another... I guess the prayer book was the first quest we did. So, we're in Bamberg. They want a prayer book. in uh let's see of cluniac monasteries i mean again nice flavor text but i'm sure it doesn't actually matter but i like that they give it to you johannes the hermit had one and now word comes that he has died this hermit was known to live southeast of steyr southeast of steyr do not tarry or long he adds other collectors may have heard this news and even now may be dispatching their own expeditions so maybe we're going to like a village or something like that, since it's a hermit, or just like a random house southeast of uh, Steyr. Steyr, 
I think, no, that was Spire. Spire was the town. Let's just, you know what? Let's uh, go to the map really quickly just to get an idea of where Steyr might be. Um, Steyr is F8. Uh, so, ooh, it's throwing us way, way over there. Where are we? Oh, you know what? It's actually, you know, now that I, it's just a southeast shot. You know, it's actually probably not that far. And not, it's in the same ballpark as that Nijmegen run from Spire. So I'm starting to realize is <laughs> much like in games like uh, Skyrim, like the map feels big when you look at it, but then in practice you're like, oh yeah, maybe it's not so crazy, not so unwieldy or unapproachable. Okay, so let's go back to the game. It's not what I was hoping, but uh, that's fine. So we got a couple of quests going on now. Let's ex exit the main street. Let's get out of this town. Uh, you know what? No, no, that's not true. I want to quickly go to... So I think whenever you're going to study saints, it's almost always, if you're doing it at the church district, it's always where they study church law and administration. Okay, so they want a Groshen to check this out. That's fine. Uh, Henri is our guy for this, so let's... Um, let's get the clue book out. So we've got Perpetua, John something, Odelia, and Giles. So let's start with Giles, because alphabetical order. Giles is going to be... Heals Endurance, Heals Strength, 10%. Uh, endurance is 40%. Agility. Seems like it's a negative two in agility. Minus four to seven. It also dings your current weapon skill. Stealth is way up. Streetwise, way up. Okay, it says, note that St. Giles temporarily, temporarily reduces agility in certain weapon skills. But, woof, that agility is... Uh, Stealth can go from plus 30 to plus 59. Streetwise can go from plus 50 to plus 90. Woodwise, so it's a really good sort of sneak around kind of skill. So that's interesting because my stealth is terrible. And I wonder if using a stealth saint, the success still helps you achieve your, uh, your skill improvement. Because you're still using a skill that might be terrible, but does it take into account the fact that you gave yourself a boost when it's checking advancement? Uh, next one would be John Cry, but I'm not sure what that's going to be. Chrysostom, I think. Uh, let's see, that's a bonus to charisma, negative perception, bonus, a big bonus to common, big bonus to speak Latin. Um, and that's less intriguing. Next we got Odelia. Let's see what I guess she would do. St. Odelia, perception goes up. Uh, if near a city is in Alsace, Strasbourg or Basel, then the local rep goes up. That's nice, but not amazing. And then finally, Perpetua. Which is a bonus to charisma. In interactions with animals, the saint may prevent an attack. So this could be, I guess, useful walking around in the woods. Um, get ambushed by wolves, boars, I guess, spiders, maybe. Uh, but the one I'm going to go with is, I think, Giles. Getting all those stealth bonuses seem like that could be interesting. So, okay, so we did a little, you know, due diligence there. And let's go to, let's go back. Oh, no, it's nighttime. Let's go to the inn. Let's spend one more night. And let's, um, let's go back to the market district. I just want to see if there's any alchemical recipes in like the, maybe the foreign traders I doubt uh, pharmacist stalls let's try them oh that's gonna okay that's gonna be that's just the ingredients I guess what I need to do is yeah this isn't it I thought there was somebody who go is it the doctor 
thought there was somebody that you might be able to hit up for, uh, Is it the craft guilds? Uh, let's see, just in case. Uh, guilds and crafts who specialize in less violent. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, here we go. I wonder what the cloth maker, what they would sell. I was gonna, okay. Nothing going on there. Uh, let's go to the astrologist lane. And see if we can pick up, uh, some... So we can trade. I will give Sigrun a copy of Raymundus' uh, Sunburst in exchange for one of yours. I mean, yeah, Sunburst would be great, right? I hope that worked. Um, let's see if we can purchase something. Uh, let's see. We got Sunburst, which hopefully I just got. Noxious Aroma, Eyeburn, Black Cloud. Yeah, it looks like Sigrun already has Sunburst. See a little one next to her. Let's try, uh, I think Black Cloud is sort of like a smoke screen. Noxious Aroma might be Poison Cloud. Let's, let's get that. Oh, I don't have the money. Four Florin, how much do I have? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm, <laughs> so I'm trying to big time all this and I'm flat broke. So good to know. So okay, so that's good. Let's uh, let's head out. So we're not gonna get. Look for a gate. Uh, I'm gonna hide among them just see if I can slip through. It didn't seem to matter. Okay, so we're outside of Bamberg. I think, I can't see it now, but I think we saw, let's check this town to see if there's anybody that needs help with the Raubritter there. Okay, Hamlet north of Nurn nestles up against a hill. Let's talk to the leader just to see. Uh, yeah, we don't need to, need to do that. Let's ask our information. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's anybody there's much going on here. Uh, let's visit the smithy just in case they have some magical guy buy and sell goods. Straight up 25. Okay, nothing amazing. Well, you know what? I guess we could sell. Uh, let's barter for... I'm looking for a card. Okay, so I don't know how this works, but one of the tips... Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I think it was in the, um, and again, in that Steam thing. What they do is they, they suggest that if you're having trouble keeping track of what to sell and what not to sell, keep something with a zero cost. Then anything you have equipped, I guess you can adjust the order of things in your inventory. This I didn't know. Move everything you have equipped above the zero so that everything that comes afterwards that ends up below the zero, you know is good to go. You're not worried about losing it which I thought was a, a good tip because that's something I've uh, definitely struggled with trying to remember like wait a minute what what's going on oh I don't want to barter for other people uh, I'm looking for seed card what do I need sell that's what I need not uh, I don't think we need four torches let me sell a couple of those keep that I thought I bought the battle axe for a reason. Uh, these 10 quality, yeah, let's get rid of those. Okay, so that's that's good enough for now. Let's uh, be on our way. We're gonna move on and let me double check Sig hard because yeah, he's got the battle axe, he's got no pants, so I just screwed something up. Uh, we've got, we're looking for L for limbs. <laughs> Unbelievable. Can you move things up? Oh, you can. Okay. So 
So we'll move this down, I guess. Large shield goes above, maybe? Uh, he's got a crossbow. Let's move that up. Quarrel, up. Uh, battle axe is up. Plate armor is up. Oh, is he using a two-handed sword? Is that why? Let's see if we can keep him alive with a battle axe. Let's see what that does. Um, so, I, so that's good. Now that I know that you can reorder like that, that's actually pretty helpful. I feel like this stuff should go to Sigrun. This is, uh, these are ingredients for alchemy. So let me get those over to her. They're not going to do me any good here. Uh, okay. That's a, that's a good tip. I like that. Uh, so we can sell, I feel like we should sell that sword. Well, the sword's a good quality. Got the pole arm. At least he's still got all his clothes. Yeah, so let's move his scale. Oh, he doesn't have anything that's zero, so. Okay, anyway, we don't need to do all this now. So let's, um... <laughs> what I need to do is I need to head back to Nuremberg and get some pants for... <laughs> for Seacard. A large tent flutters in the breeze ahead, the pavilion of a traveling alchemist. His wagon is attached to the pavilion by a flap of cloth, while his oxen graze in a meadow. The alchemist greets you in a friendly manner. I am trying to obtain certain potions. I would be delighted to offer you my essence, O oh, Grace, if you have something that interests me. What say you? Could we trade a hard armor for an essence of grace? Let me just, I think an essence of grace might be a healing potion. Let me, let me double check that. I can find where alchemy is in the clue book. These are the saints, so hopefully... Um, battle potions, no. So it's not a battle potion. It is not an improvement for equipment. Okay, so it is a, oh yeah, yeah, personal improvement potion, Essence of Grace. This heals a percentage of loss, endurance, and strength. The amount varies with the potion's quality. This is great. Yeah, so this is the kind of thing I need to start figuring out. So I need to, I need to get that recipe at some point. So let me trade a hard armor for an Essence of Grace. Uh, cool. Let's see what else we can do. We've done that. So let's, uh, yeah, let's head back. Okay. A richly, uh, comparison. I'm having trouble reading the font. Knight with a colorful entourage boldly rides towards your party. From the bearing of his retainers, you realize he is going to a tournament. You? Yeah, we're just going to let him move aside. This would be fun to get a horse going and just knock him down. All right, doesn't give us the time of day, but I would not expect anything different. So again, I'm not 100% sure how long I'm going to be able to go. Maybe if that's the case, maybe we'll, I'll try and stitch together a couple of uh, runs, like one now and stop and figure out how to put it together later. Uh, let's go to the broad gate in daylight. Let's see if we can charm our way past. Nope. Let's pay the toll. And let us go to the guilds. We're going to go to the armor, armorer's way. And we're going to barter for Seacard, who's currently sans pants. He's got good stuff going on. party up top but the business in the rear or whatever the t-shirts are is what we're looking for let's see what his he's got an endurance and strength of 41 so he can handle pretty heavy armor let me see what happens if i give him plate plate uh limbs 
<laughs> I have $397. Uh, I think I need to buy him leather pants and be happy with it. So here's a, here's a debate. 196 is not a lot. I was going to say, do I even bother? Or do I go like kill bandits at night, get like a 10 quality pair of pants, but I'm going to buy the pants now. Maybe we can hand them off to somebody else and uh, go from there. So let's move this up and uh, let us, I think it's arm. And yeah, let's see if we can sell that scale really quickly. Uh, barter for, I'm looking for a C card. I think I could sell this. I'm going to sell that to Ended Sword because I, I think I'd be going with 37 quality something. And sell that scale. So I'm up to 678. That's not bad. Okay, we're going to leave. We're going to head out of town. I don't know if there's any bonus. I keep trying to sneak out. I don't know if it actually checks anything, but let's just do that. It does. Okay. Streetwise. Not bad. That is worth it then. Okay, so there we are. Let's do a quick save. And uh, let's start making our way to this Rao Britter as I take the stupidest path possible. Off the road through the woods. Okay, so that's Bamberg. Let's go around the, the woods just to, I don't know if it matters, but let's do that. Okay, so I think that's... Okay, here we go. You see a grim cairn and realize you are now in the territory of a robber knight. You can boldly go straight to the castle, set a roadside ambush for the Raubritter's men, or pretend to be ordinary wayfarers hoping to draw the attention of the Raubritter's men. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to save it. I want to try stealth because I think somebody... Uh, I just want to see how if it could work. Uh, let's see, 10, 10, 23. It's not... Uh, okay, oops. So let's let's um let's see what my highest stealth is. I think it should be <laughs> three. It's not you. Fifty. Okay. Eckhard's okay. Let me see if it'll let me have Eckhard go and do the deed. Like or uh okay. So this is just like a random encounter patrol, and I talked my way out of it because I'm not looking to fight yet. I want to get up to the Robert. I want to. I want to try going in, being invited as a guest, and sneaking out at night. So I want to see how that works. Uh, let's ask Plately to come inside. Smiling, the Robberter comes out and welcomes you inside. Even in our wild lands, we know of you. Please accept our hospitality. You step within the Robber Knight's tower. So I think the first time I tried this and it went horribly wrong, I tried like a sneak attack here at dinner. Um, grinning wolfishly, the Robert of Werner Salmon meets with you inside his crude audience chamber. Chewing on extorted meat and guzzling stolen ale, he feasts heartily with his tough, scarred men-at-arms. Offering some refreshment to you, begins by saying, let us reason together. You? I think this is what I tried last time. I tried to convince him to surrender with a daring move. It was not daring. <laughs> it did not work. Uh, I'm going to ask to spend the night and see if we can have Eckhart sneak out and do something. Once safely in your room, you wait until... And then if, if this all goes sideways, I'll reload and we'll just lay siege to the Raubritter here. Once safely in your room, you wait until the tower quiets down, then go to the door and listen. You hear two guards talking. Aren't we supposed to go in and kill them now? One asks, referring to you. Nay, says the other. Lord Werner Salmon, <laughs> it's very formal, told us to wait for another hour to make sure they are asleep before we cut their throats. You're not surprised. Robberters are not famous for their hospitality. When the two guards walk down the hall, you sneak out of your room. If a guard sees you now, it is open conflict. 
Sneaking through the dark corridor of Werner Salmon's fortress, you hear fortress up, uh, voices up ahead. You decide to... Huh. So we could find the robber knight and convince him to surrender. We could set fire to the castle and then try and get out a window. I love that. I don't know if it would solve the issue, but oh my, <laughs> let's give that a shot. Painstakingly setting tinder against a wooden interior wall, Sigrun starts it burning with her flint and steel. Then you let yourselves out of a window with all haste. As you watch, a light springs up in one of the castle's windows. Men shout from inside, and you can hear them fighting the fire. Perhaps you should try to set some more fires to assist the blaze along, or use the distraction to enter the tower again. Oh, I guess we could throw out Thunderbolt. Uh, yeah, so let's... We, we, we've tried to set the tower on fire. Um, as soon as it's dark enough, you sneak over and scramble up a rough wall. You find an unguarded window, quickly clambering inside. You are within the tower. So I'm kind of curious here, again, is it just taking my best stealth stat? Because some of my stealth stats are terrible. Uh, like, 10 is pretty good compared to, like, Sigrun's, like, 3, I think. Is it getting bonuses because we've already set the thing on fire. You know, I don't know how it's working. Uh, can we set more fires to the artifice one up? Nice. I like that. Here we go. Working quickly. Sigrun leaves tinder against a wooden interior wall. Okay. Um, as you watch from outside, a light springs up in one of the castle windows. It grows stronger until the castle is clearly ablaze. Hoarse screams are heard, and suddenly the gate bursts open, and Werner Salmon himself, accompanied by a few men, staggers out coughing. He spots you. You've destroyed my home and power, but I shall see you in hell before me. He attacks you at once. So I wonder if this changes the fight at all. Uh, where are they? One, two, three, four, five. Th that could be much worse, um, I think. <laughs> I really like how that played out. Let's take some shots. Uh, one missile. Interesting. Interesting. Why can I not? There we go. Okay. I mean, I'll take whatever I can get. I don't really care, but just curious that that was... Yeah, Henri. Have him swing out to the flank. Uh, okay, let's get Henri to take a quick shot before it all goes. Still nothing. Okay, so I'm going to pull Henri back a little bit. I feel like I should give up on these crossbows. They're too slow. And, I, and I'm not hitting... <laughs> So I'm just sort of giving general, try and gang up on one guy, see how it goes. Try and put people down as fast as possible before we have to deal with this guy. Looks like he's in full plate. So I feel like I've done decently against the Riff Raff. Now we're going four on one on the Rao Bridder. I think that, I, I feel pretty good about that. And again, remember, if you look up here, the stuff on the left is my PC's stats, but the one on the right is the enemy they're dealing with. So let's distribute to a different person. We're going to have C card be my guy. Let's uh, take that. Let's take this. Let's take this. Okay, that's not bad plate armor. It's not amazing, but um, I'm just taking it all. You know, I don't care. Impact weapons going up. Always good. Bow weapon. Nice. Okay. There we go. The evil Werner Salmon, the robber knight who terrorized the country, lies bleeding out his life before you. Demoralized, his men drop their weapons and surrender. You begin the pleasant task of picking through the castle's treasury. You speculate, speculate about how often future travelers will bless your name for the road's safety. Uh, it's Spire outlined. Okay. 
Um, I mean, it's all done. So let's see if it... Yeah, you can see it's now giving you, like, the wrecked icon. So before we go any further, let's um, switch out my pants here to some plate slacks. And we want uh, limbs, yeah. So let's move this up. It's tough. This it's not really some of the conveniences of a mouse-driven. I don't know where it went. Uh, here we go. Arm. Ooh, eighty-six over seventy-seven. So we've got a problem going on there. So we'll have to figure that out. Let's move this plate armor up. Like, I might have to not... Uh, let me see how you take something off your equipment. Arm, unarm is you. Okay, so let's, let's see if we unarm the crossbow, because I imagine those are probably pretty heavy. 77, okay, so now we're down. I just want to get to my normal load, because I imagine... It would let me still do things at a higher load, but I'm sure it would just kill my stamina. So, we don't want to do that. Uh, so let's see. Um... Let's give the rest of the uh, plate armor, like, um, let's give the the top part to Eckhart. I don't know. I think he's doing some, some scale or something like that. So let's trade that over if I can find out where it is on my thing here. Am I misremembering? I thought there was a 20 quality plate armor V. Okay. That's maybe because I'm wearing one. So let's see what he's doing. We'll get these guys a 66 out of 76. So let's get that equipped. That's arm. 73 out of 76. Still not bad. What do we got for his pants? He's got chain. That's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. Strength endurance, 32, 31. So these people, like Sigrun, Henri, they're never going to be really... Unless I can get their stats up to like 40, they're never going to be really ready to wear full plate. So. So as sort of intended, Sighard and Eckhart are going to be the front line. And I need to start figuring out that kind of setup. So very nice. We just took out a robber baron. So let us head back to Nuremberg and get paid. And then I might have to take my first fix it in post break to take care of some stuff. Because I know, like, I actually... This is more, you know, this is my my office, right? Um, it's just basically like a, a a sunroom of sorts off of my front living room. And uh, used to be your kid's playroom. Used to be toys everywhere. But as the kids have gotten older, we've sort of moved things around and been able to give some things away. And we had a flood here. I think I may have mentioned somewhere. I lose track. After Ida, Hurricane Ida 2021, maybe. All my stuff used to be in the basement, which... I both loved and didn't love. I loved it because I had my own space and I man caved it up, even though it was like, it's, it's not like a fancy basement at all. But I loved, you know, just having the space. I had my, my board games, I had all my shelves, I had all my, my fun stuff uh, together. All right, we're going to talk our way past for no reason. Then we're going to go to the central market. Um, and let me see. It was from the foreign merchant, because remember, you got to remember. Okay, 
The Casper Falls stands beaming and holding your reward. Word of your exploits has obviously spread rapidly. You grasp the weighty purse and are carefully and uh, carefully count each coin. All 35 florins are quickly added to the party's purse. At last, Werner Salmon's powers destroyed. All of Nuremberg will know of your part in this. Your deeds shall be remembered. Uh, so let's just see how much money we got. 9,000 total. Boom. We are officially on our way. So the great thing about that is, again, I'm going to pause here in a second. Uh, anyway, but um, when it's just me, you know, I leave all the curtains closed. So it's actually broad daylight outside. I just don't open them. I'm used to working in dark rooms for my normal job. My office, when I used to go to it, has no windows whatsoever. Uh, let's see. I think we were going to the alchemist. Uh, let's go to the main street. Let's go to crafts guilds, whatever. Uh, less violent pursuits. The astrologist lane. And let's see what we can buy. Alchemical knowledge. Let's see if we can trade any. I'll give a copy of Moranus's transformation. Sure. In exchange for one of yours. Why not? I don't know what they took, but that's fine. Let's purchase something. And I think we're going to go for... Ooh, these are expensive. One, four. So we could burn through our the cash we just got really quickly. At the same time... What are we doing? This is what we're here for, right? Um, I'm not going to get... I'll take Noxious Aroma and Thunderbolt. And then we'll head over to... You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save, and then maybe I'll just do like a little dip and come back and, and string a couple sessions together. Because uh, we got a decent one done here. and uh, But I, I feel like now that we've got some money, we can really, really equip ourselves, you know, get top shelf armor, get some good weapons, really start kitting out our party. And uh, think about where we want to go next. Uh, maybe I'll refer to the clue books and save you some of this downtime see what cities have like really great great equipment uh great alchemical formulas whatever and maybe pick that as our next destination to uh to make it less random and less just roaming the countryside hoping i know that probably is a little cheap but i don't know it, it doesn't bother me too much um in the old days, what you would do, and, and, and you know, this, this clue book came out around the release of the game because it was necessary to deliver a patch disc to fix the game to make it actually not completely broken. So it's not like this book is some new thing that, you know, it, it, was, it was available. And for me, it really, you know, in my head, I can sort of justify like, oh, yeah, you know, you talk to people, you get ideas of what's what. That maybe isn't expressed directly in the game. And so I, I can sort of headcanon it if I need to. But in the end, it's just, you know, what makes this game fun? And for me, it's like, you know, wandering around, having the random encounters. And not going like, okay, here's the spreadsheet of cities and keeping my columns of equipment quality, alchemical quality. Like, I don't need to document it and, and sort of get the lay of the land to that degree. Back in when the game first came out, you might have to. But I think when I first played this, I started before the clue book. And I think it was just, I, di I didn't do that. I just like, yeah, fine, sure, whatever. Oh, great. I just stumbled across something that's good. Fine, whatever. I didn't sort of chart it all out and try and figure it out. Uh, once I got the clue book, I think I, I did say, okay, right now I want to focus on saints. So let me see who has what where. And I would make my way there, have a little adventure, do the thing I wanted to do, and then move on sort of like <laughs> like the old incredible hulk show but okay so let me pause here and then uh, we'll come back in a little bit all right thanks all right uh welcome back uh let's see let's get back into it we have some money to spend and i'd like to like i was saying i want to go get to the maybe i'll start with armor and then once we go to armor we'll start doing weapons i guess i should I'm going to go to the inn because, again, I'm not looking to not looking to cause problems. So we're going to wait till daytime, go back, and start getting everybody up to speed on maximum armor. 
well, not maximum, but you know what I mean. And then we'll go from there to upgrading the weapons because we are sitting on a, a quest worth another five florins. So that could be worth a decent chunk of money. So let's start by going to the craft guilds. Let's start next by going to the armorer's way. Now, just to double check, Sighard has got plate plate, but what's the plate pants? The plate pants are, well, it's vitals 20, legs 20, or limbs 20. So let's start with him. It's going to cost a fortune, but uh, let's see what they got. So we're going to barter for Sighard, and we're going to buy... I don't even know if we can afford it. So we've got, okay, we've got 9,000. And getting C card fully up would be probably more than we have. It'd be 10 grand. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Let's see. He's got plate at 20, so that's not bad. Let's see what Henri's got going on. It's got uh, scale V scale at 15, and then leather at 15. So there's some improvement to be had there. Man, maybe I should be doing, well, no. Sigrun's got, I mean, it could be, It could be 25, but it, you know, it could be 10 for the leather up top. So since she's got less, um, you know, I was just looking at it. Since she has lower strength endurance, 32, 31, let me see if I can, I don't even know if I need to go full leather, but let's, cause you know, you got 27 out of 62, but let's see if we can get something a little more, maybe, I don't know if chain mail, would be too heavy. I remember looking up the queer bully or however you say it. That's like boiled leather. Um, we're going to barter for someone else. So let's start with uh, Sigrun. We're going to get her for her vitals. Let's get her some chain mail. Uh, did it do it? No, it didn't. There we go. And then for her limbs... Let's get another chain mail and then hopefully that's solid. Let's see if she can actually see what her load goes to. Chain mail. Let's arm that. Oof. Okay. That's disappointing. So let's take a look at what she's got going on. I don't want to give up ranged weapons, but at the same time, I don't know. It's not like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I feel like at some point it could be a big deal, but right now I'm barely getting any shots off, especially with the crossbows. Does it even matter? Let me see what happens if I unarm. I mean, I assume it's going to be fine. And maybe I should be switching all these people over to bows. Well, I mean, barely under, but I'd rather have her be able to survive a fight once. Because it, it, it invariably is going to get close quarters. So I'd rather, you know, be set up for that. I don't, I don't know if there's ways to do anything. But in the future with like um, getting strength or endurance up, I don't know if those are permanently locked in. Okay, Henri has got 36, 38. So he's got a little bit more room to play. He's got... Um, Scale and leather. So maybe let's see what happens if we do the same chain mail, chain mail. Do I have enough to do that? Let's uh, barter for someone else. We're going to barter for Henri because again, he's, he's getting a little bit wrecked. So I want to make sure he can, especially, yeah, because he's using the two handed, the halberd. So I want him to be able to have a little more survivability. 
Uh, do I have enough for chain mail? Vital, I do. And of course, I'm going to get some of this back. I'm like, I'm now, I've just blown my entire 35 florin reward, but I do have, you know, stuff to sell now. So let's, um, let's see how it goes when we arm this. 66, 68. Okay, so he can, ooh, what's he working with? He's got the uh, composite bow. And a halberd. So, he, you know, he's, he's, he's pretty good. You know, he, he's got a heavy weapon. He's got a heavy bow. You know, he's, that's all right. What's that card got going on? He's got some plate and chain. That's solid. Plate and plate. That's solid. That card is a bow. Bow. So we got two bowyers. Get a couple of rapid shots off. That's fine. So let's sell some stuff back. I know Henri is going to have some armor to sell. Nope. Henri. So let's, uh, we could definitely sell, whoops, the short bow. Let's sell this leather. I'm going to keep the, uh, the medium shield is crappy quality. So let's dump that. That we don't need. We're going to keep that stuff. We're going to keep 37 quality chain mail, chain mail. Okay, so they're all good. Let's barter for another person. Who's this? Sigrun. Again, we should be moving the stuff. They've got some clothing. So maybe I should be sending a little piece of clothing over to each person so that they... have like that divider that was sort of suggested in um, that steam... steam guide. Uh, leather... What is Sigrun? All chain mail. Okay, so I don't have to worry about the leather then. That's good. Uh, sell, sell. I feel like Tusk of a Boar. That must be... Keep the chain mail, keep the chain mail. Okay. I assume Tusk of the Boar is an alchemical thing, but it was worth zero, so I didn't know. That sort of throws me a little bit. Uh, military hammer, that's all good so far. I don't think Eckhart has any leather going on. Nope. So we're free to sell that. Sell that. Keep the short bow. Wearing plate for the vital, so we can probably sell those. We're going to sell padded. I think we're going to get rid of this medium shield. Okay, so we're back up to 991. So it's, you know, it's not bad. Sig hard again. Um, I'm going to keep the crossbow just in case. You know, who knows? Maybe someday. Get rid of the falchions. Don't worry. I have to worry about leather. Don't worry about small shields, long sword, medium shields, mace. Okay, so we're up to 1638. Not bad. Uh, so with that, let's jump over to the swordsmith. And, uh, you know, let's see what we can do. We got two-handed sword. Um, but let's see if we can update somebody's weapon. Like, what's the military hammer? 637? That'd be good for Eckhart. What's Sigrun? Sigrun's, I think, got a mace. Yeah, a mace. So let's let's start by updating Sigrun. Uh, so let's barter for Sigrun. Let's get a mace. Or do we get her a military hammer as well? Is that better? I'm gonna I'm jumping into the clue book because it does have a breakdown of all the weapons, I think. So let's see, we've got, let's, let's compare a mace to like a military hammer. The mace might be faster. Penetration on a military hammer is a little more. Damage is a little higher on the mace. The skill is higher on the military hammer. So I, I don't know exactly what that means. Strength, we're fine. Weight is lower on the military hammer. I'm going to go with the military hammer for it. Or, yeah. 
Let's get our military hammer. Got two of those. I, I've always been, I, I think I may have mentioned this when I got the other military hammer. I've always been partial to them. Warhammer, stuff like that. The one-handed variety in, in RPGs. So I'm just gonna, just gonna go for it. Uh, we're on Sigrun. Let's purchase. Let's go to Sigrun. And let us equip her new, can I scroll up? Like, can you go? Oh no, it doesn't cycle back down. Okay. Uh, let's see. Gonna arm that. Very nice. Let's sell that mace off. Sell. Okay. That's one weapon. Uh, Henri's halberd. 24 quality, that's not bad. Eckhard's military hammer, I think is a decent 24. It's not bad. Sigard, what's your battle axe at? 37. So you're already you're set. Large shield is pretty high quality, 30. Henri, what's your you know what? Let's get him a let's get him a halberd. Let's barter for Henri. And then let's get him a 37 quality. Albert. Although I'd, I'd be curious, like a two-handed flail, I'd be curious to mess with some of this stuff. Let's purchase that. Henri now has this that we can sell. I always have to double check, because one of these days I'm going to sell the 37 quality whatever I just bought. And uh, I think that's it for now. Again, we're down to 200 uh, in cash. 339. Okay, that's not bad. Um, and let's now tackle. We have a... Um, we were asked by a merchant in Bamberg to grab a prayer book from... A place southeast of Steyr. Now, Steyr, again, let's just jump over the map really quickly just to remind myself as well as, um, you know, we're in Nuremberg, which is right here. And Steyr was a, a hike, but it was a straight shot southeast to down here. So maybe we go hit over there, you know, get these five whatevers, five florin, use that to finish off our, our weapons. And I guess... I guess shields would be important at some point. We need to upgrade those as well. Start swapping in some of the armors. Well, plate's going to be 10 grand, so that's going to be a little while before we can do that. But uh, yeah, let's um, let's start heading out. I think we're all... Ooh, we're not all healed up. Let's heal up Sigrun. Let's go to the inn. And uh, let's uh, take up residence for like a day or two. Let's earn, earn... Rest, earn. And one more. Okay, we're all set. Okay, now we're going to head out of town. One of the main gates. We're going to hide, just see if it helps our streetwise, I think. Okay, not working. That's fine. My streetwise is usually pretty poor. Okay. So we're going to start uh, the trek southeast. Uh, you know what? Let's save. Get an idea of how much time has passed since I had to take a break. Now, I feel like in that very first journey, as magical as it was, we did see a lot of what the random encounters had to offer. So if that's the case, I might just sort of speed through when we see things that look familiar. Okay, ahead of you is the Pavilion of Traveling Alchemists. So this is the shakedown one. Halt, hand over all alchemical material. We'll give you a fair price, but we need it now. Um, so it's basically, it's a robbery. Let's have the leader. Who is my leader? Is it Sigrun? Yes. Let's see if she can fast talk her way out of this. Uh, if you'll not, uh, he says, if you will not take silver for your goods, perhaps you'll take steel. Okay, so it's on. Uh, ooh. Okay, so. I think we've got Henri and Eckhard still equipped with 
bows. So let's uh, have them take shots. Nope, missile, not in, whatever that does. And four missile. Okay, let's see what happens. Of course, that guy's gonna start tossing alchemical. So what we need to do is one in, okay, so one is Sigrun. Oh, uh, not Sigrun, that's uh, C card. Can I get him into the background? And then I guess we're gonna, I want it. Well, you know what? This isn't going to work. So Sigurd is now going to have to attack these guys, and I think we're all in. We have to get through these guys as fast as possible in order to be able to. Get to the alchemist. You can see he's throwing some kind of. Uh, the explosion one might be like Thunderbolt or something, or maybe there's like a, I forget what the one that's sort of like a hand grenade. Okay, so now that we've got that, I think we can have you break off and attack the alchemist. I guess at this point, everybody's gonna be able to attack the alchemist. We've sort of cut through. Does it say what? Alchemy, they might be... No, not really. Good potion, good potions, poor dagger. Okay. Ooh. That was nasty. I wonder what that was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, once we get there, it should be lights out, but... Okay, so we're going to have uh, Eckhard take the arrows. And let's have um, Sigurd just pick up the rest. Unless, unless there's alchemy stuff, then I'm going to give that to... Okay, so we got some Eater Water back. I wonder if some of that was like Noxious Aroma, Essence of Grace, again, some healing potions, so that's good. Because I don't know if I can make those yet. Uh, Sigrun, let's have her grab... And they're 35 quality, so they're they're good quality potions. Okay. After defeating the alchemist and his guard, you take spoils of victory by carefully going through his wagon and tent. There's less than you hoped, but more than you'd expected. So all in all, a good haul. Okay. So I want to keep going southeast. So I'm wondering... I'm going to go this way. You know what, what I'm also going to do? I'm going to save. I don't know if this is the right path, but it seems to be the way I want to go. I wonder what this was. Okay, so let's... um. I think you can do party info and get sort of if you're near a city. So let's check where we are. We are near Regensburg, which is exactly where we want to go. So now we want to keep heading southeast to Passau. So let's see if we can do that. Henri's pretty hurt, but I guess it could be worse. What I should have been paying attention to was how much damage he was taking from the alchemical potions versus the fight itself to get a gauge of how much his armor is helping him out. Okay, again, we got the knight going to a tournament. We're going to move aside. Uh, let's see. The bishop spots you, spots us. Okay, I think we've encountered this one before as well. Travelers, this path is protected by God, so pay its toll. Uh, seven fenning, that's not that bad. I'll try pleading virtue to see what they do. <laughs> um, didn't work. Okay, so we just got robbed again by the church. No, 
I wonder if this is a ta- um... Let me see if that's actually something you- no. Okay, so let's uh, check our progress by going to party info. We are now at Passau. Uh, so the next is southeast to Linz. Uh, let's whoops. I assume that's a monastery there. I'm just trying to get around there just to fresh paw prints cross your track. Sigurd kneels to inspect them, then looks up with a worried expression. Wolf spore, he murmurs. And only a few minutes old. Suddenly, your low growls. Let's try seeing if we can bump our woods lore up. Jumping him down and shouting, you make as much noise as possible. The wolves hesitate, look puzzled, and then run off. Wolves are much less dangerous during the day, explains Sigurd. So I wonder... Oh yeah, it is day. You can see right there. All right. Could be another Raubritter. Okay. Again, hopefully this is... Lintz. Very nice. Okay, so let me just double check. It's southeast of Steyr. So maybe it's a village. I wasn't quite sure what I was looking for. So let's, um... Now, Steyr's kind of a sh short distance more to the south. Another mine, I guess. Okay, so let's, um... Okay, so we're northeast of Steyr. We want to be southeast of it. So let's see what's over there. Howls echo through the night air. Wolves, and it sounds like they're on your trail. Uh, let's see if we can frighten them off. Nope, I guess not. Okay. Got one, two, three, four. It looks like over there, but let's see if there's any coming from the other directions. That might be it. So let's get, um, see if Henri has line of sight. Let's see if Eckhart has line of sight. Okay. All right, so obviously they moved too quickly to... So again, I'm sort of trying to keep my eye on Henri, who used to get knocked down pretty easily-ish. See if anything's different. Now, you know, he, he definitely took damage, but he also doesn't have a shield. So again, that could be on me. Okay. See, I don't know if I should be switching to a one-handed weapon and a shield for Henri just to keep him alive. But he seems to be making pretty good progress with... Pole arm. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, where am I in the. I'm trying to gauge where I am by the graphics. Um, so I don't know how far southeast I'm supposed to go. Or maybe it's in Steyr.
Because I feel like I'm kind of off the beaten track here. You can just see the days blowing past because I'm wandering rough terrain. Apologies, there's a plane outside. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to like land on my house. Okay, it's on. Doing good damage. Henri's, you know, again, taking a beating. I might, hmm, I might switch him over. All of the swine are dead or fled. You pry out their tusks. They are thought to be good luck charms. Then slice off some pork to roast and eat on the way. Okay, so I'm going to make my way back to Styre and see if maybe that's where the item is. Now, if I recall, I think you have like a year or so to do these quests, so I don't think, because I sort of beelined it straight to the area, I hope I still have plenty of time. Okay, dirty bandits. Let's see if we can charm our way out. Uh, Seekhart shouts, what's going on here? Then in a virtual dis virtuoso display of commanding presence, he succeeds in completely intimidating the bandit. Uh, so, talked our way out of that. So let's head to Steyr. Um, you come across a Dominican friar with a small crowd of followers. So it's one of those things, again, where if we don't give them the money, they're going to put curse a curse on us. So I'll just give them the money. Okay, let's go to Styre. Let's go to Broad Daylight. See if we can talk our way through. No. <laughs> let's see if we can sneak our way in. Okay, we failed, but at least we got uh, a little bit streetwise going. Okay, first things first. Let's um, let's heal up. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, uh, earn, rest, rest, earn. Okay, let's leave and uh, we're going to, what we'll do is we'll do the typical, let's go talk to people, see if we can learn a saint or whatever. And then we'll come back at night and see if we can do the stealth mission portion of the proceedings. Uh, let's see. Looking for the spires of the great churches. We're looking for where they study law and administration. And uh, let's see if we can study... We're going to donate the two Groshen, and then let's see what we got. We've got Genevieve, Cosmos, Henry, and Peter something. So we'll start with Cosmos or something, whatever. Okay, so Cosmos heals 10 endurance, 10 strength. Heal skill goes way up, perception goes up, and automatically gives knowledge of Saint Damien, which heals 100% endurance, 30% strength, and automatically gives knowledge of Saint Cosmos. So I think I'm going to go that just because it seems like it's a bit of a two for one, but just to double check, let's see what Genevieve does. Heals 30 endurance, 20 strength, and prevents ambush for seven days. That could be useful, but the ambushes aren't so bad at the moment. Uh, let's see what Henry does. 
each weapon skill goes up by 10 to 20 percent roughly and then peter peter of atroa is what i'm going to guess that is intelligence a little bump perception a little bump alchemy a bump stealth a big bump ride a little bump however local rep in the nearest city drops a touch so i'm going to go with uh henry henri is going to do cosmos to get the two for one going Uh, let's see. Okay, it's nighttime, so let's go to the... Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Grove. Uh, nope, it's not going to let me save. So let's, um, slip down a side street. We're going to go to the Marketplace. Okay, we can't bribe them. Maybe because we're too broke. Oh, one florin's a lot. Yeah. I guess we snuck past them. Let's go to a merchant. I do have eater water, but let's try artifice. Okay, artifice did go up, but let's do a little eater water. Hmm. Do I not have a... Nope. I thought I picked one up. Well, that is frustrating. Hmm. I confess I didn't... It didn't occur to me that you could fail with... Uh, Eater water? Or maybe there was nothing to get? I, I don't know. Yeah, this is fine, right? So now I've taken a couple of hits, but it's all been stamina, which is fine, because that comes right back. Uh, it's nice seeing... Ooh, nice, 10. It's nice seeing the strength portion of the damage track stay pretty safe so far. Okay, let's leave. Let's, um... Nice. Let me see... Let's go to the inn. Uh, although I'm missing where it is. Here we go. Let me see how much a bottle, if they sell it, let's see how much a potion of eater water or thunderbolt actually costs. So we need to go to, I guess, the guilds, then to the less violent, then... You know, I'm not seeing a uh, an alchemist here. Now, I don't know if I'm missing... Let's see if the physician has any... So I took a few hours to try and discuss healing treatments, determining a skill. Wasn't able to do it right away. Okay, he's not willing to trade with us at all, so... This is a, this is a trick. Okay, maybe we go to the town just north of here.
Maybe it's a bigger city just above us. These don't seem like very big cities, to be honest with you. Can't talk our way in, so let's see if we can streetwise our way in. We can't. Let's go to the main toll. Let's see what they've got. Here we go. 14 Groshen. I don't think we have 14 Groshen. I don't know what the Philosophy Stone does. We have 9 Groshen. Nope, they don't want to trade stuff with us. Um, nope, and they're done talking to us. Oh, man. All right. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what to do in this particular case. I mean, it's not the end of the world if I lose the five Florin. Except for, like, the part of my brain that's like, hey, you've got a quest, you need to do it. But I'm trying to think, um... Okay, well, let's go to the end. Let's save it for now. I think I'm going to have a couple more things to do. And then we'll puzzle this out when hopefully I can uh, continue this session. Like, again, I'm going to stitch it all together at some point. So let's go to the main street. Let's go to the inn. And uh, let's save, if it'll let me. Does it not let me? Okay, maybe let me, uh, let me leave town. Save on... <laughs> but I just, uh, I just slept at the inn. I wonder why it put me in there at night. Okay, main street, main gate. Again, let's see if we can slip past, get our streetwise going a little bit. Okay, now we can save. Yeah, okay, so let's save this and I'll try to jump back in and keep the session going. I guess this might be a better way for me to do it, right? Like, because sometimes I'm saying, like, okay, what am I going to have, like, an hour and a half or so of just straight times of play? But maybe what I should be doing is I should be thinking about it in these terms. Like, you know, just maybe I play 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there, and I just stitch five of them together and uh, go from there. Uh, let's see. 14. 59. Okay. So, yeah. So we'll uh, pick this up, hopefully, and uh, keep this going and figure out what to do in this case. Uh, I might have to take... You, know, you got this thing over here. Maybe there's a row breeder going on. Maybe I can make some quick catch that way. I don't know if it'll help me down here, but it's something I could try. But, uh, okay. So we'll pick this back up. Thanks. Okay. So, yeah, I'm back. And here's what I'm thinking. As you can see, it's, I've sort of, I don't have to go outside anymore. I've sort of done everything I need to do, like picking up kids, running to stores, whatever chores I need to do. So I've switched to the, as we referred to it a couple of times, the uh, Bill Bel Belichick semi formal collection. So this is what I, my typical work from home is, uh, you know, leave the heat down a little bit, try and save a little money, put on a nice heavy hooded sweatshirt and just uh, work away here in my office. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this session up. It's starting to get later in the day. I, I don't know what crazy stuff's going to be happening. And I feel like we've gotten enough to put together, you know, uh, a video to output something. Um, so what I think I'm going to do next time is... You know, looking over this map, you know, we got to Steyr, Linz. I, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Southeast of Steyr goes into, I, is it the Alps? I guess it'd be the Alps, right? I mean, I guess it says Alp in there, but, you know, maybe, what do I know? I don't know if there, you know, if I'm supposed to hunt around the map in the mountains for something. Am I supposed to go to Graz? Did somebody die southeast of Steyr and then it got brought to Steyr? I, I just I wasn't clear on what was going on. So what I'll try and do is I'll try and see if I can get another um uh the potion that eat water potion or whatever it's called that 
uh, helps you pick locks. Give it another shot if it'll let me. Veen, Vine, maybe that's a bigger city. I feel like I should know what that, you know, now I feel stupid. Um, let me see. Sorry, I got it. Yeah, it's Vienna. <laughs> it's like, why am I sitting here blanking? On what? It's Vienna. So that's obviously a big city. That's clearly a place where maybe I can maybe get some things done, get enough money and buy one of those eat water potions. Maybe they'll have something there and um, pick it up next time. But if not, what I might do is I might just, you know, not that the adventures will be all that different, but I might sort of hang out in this neck of the woods for a little bit. See if I can get like another, I mean, another cash cow Raubritter mission that that was pretty instrumental in getting my armor up. If I get another one of those, I feel like I could get my equipment completely like maxed out at the 37 quality level at least and uh, go from there. So uh, yeah, again, hopefully this was fun for you guys. Um, I, I keep saying it, but I've been having a blast and this, <laughs> you know, like I was saying in, in one of the last sessions, like, I had this and, and Starfield going at the same time, and I just bagged Star, Starfield. And partly is because of things that I, I sort of was feeling at the time playing Starfield, and partly because juxtaposing it with this, it was sort of bringing some things to light that was making me go, yeah, I'd rather go over there and play Darklands. Um, or Skyrim is what I think I said at one point. So anyway, this will keep going. This is a Black Lives Trivia Night. Thanks again for jumping in. You know, you're here on the YouTube channel where you can see, you know, let's plays of some of these video games, actual plays of RPGs. We just wrapped Call of Cthulhu Modern up with Scratch Scratch. We've got more Menace Under Otari. And then probably a bunch of like one on one things with me and Matt in the foreseeable future. We've got to figure out what some of that stuff is. If you want audio versions of all of this, just go to wherever you get your podcast, search for Black Lodge Trivia Night. It's all it's all there. It's the uh the actual plays. And then we also have like Bookhouse Boys. There's another one of those coming out soon. And Damn Fine Coffee, which usually if a month has five Thursdays, we sort of take a Thursday off and just sort of discuss a, a topic of interest. Um, videos of all of those are, are here on the channel as always. But if you, you know, follow us on Twitter and Blue Sky at Black Lodge RPG. If you like this, you know, tell somebody, like, subscribe, whatever. Um, and, uh, that way you can keep up to date with some of this stuff if, it, if it's of, en of enjoyment. So again, thanks. Thanks a lot. Black Lodge Trivia Night and uh, talk to you soon. Take care.